A sheriff's deputy fired for excessive force after video surfaces showing him repeatedly striking a black man pinned to the ground. The video quickly going viral. The man arrested left bloodied and bruised. Nick Sturdivant live in Clayton County with more details here. Good morning, Sheba. We were told by the sheriff's office yesterday that the deputy that punched Roderick Walker uh, was fired for use of the excessive force. As of this morning, that deputy's name has not been released, and that video has gone viral, has made his rounds on social media. That video shows Walker pinned to the ground, and at one point, one deputy punching him in the face while he's on the ground. Walker's attorney said Walker and his girlfriend had just dropped off a rental car and asked someone to drop them off down the street. The driver was stopped for an alleged broken taillight. His attorney said deputies asked Walker, who was a passenger, for his ID. Walker allegedly asked why, because he was not driving. Deputies then demanded he get out, his attorney said, and that's when things led to the altercation. Walker's mother in tears when we spoke with her over the weekend. I haven't talked to him since. I haven't talked to him since Friday when I was at work. That's, that's the last time I talked to my son. We have seen this happen in George Floyd. We've seen this happen on too many occasions, and we're just tired of it. And Shibo, as of this morning, Walker is still behind bars. And at 6.30 coming up, we'll, uh, we'll tell you why Sheriff Hill says Walker is still in jail this morning.